Hello, this is VK3TVZ. I'd just like to demonstrate to you today another project, homebrew project. Uh, this time it's weather related. Um, I decided to to build a um, basically a wind speed uh, measuring instrument, uh, just using a off-the-shelf anemometer, uh, which uh, gives. Uh, pretty much one pulse per kilometer an hour wind speed. Uh, so with that I decided I was going to build a um, a display unit uh, which also has a interface option uh, which down the track I wish to use um, for a weather station that I'm building uh, using a microprocessor. But anyway I finished the, uh, the display today so I just wish to uh, demonstrate that to you and, and actually show you that. So um, what we have here is a off-the-shelf anemometer, uh, as stated. I purchased that, and then the actual instrument itself is basically a frequency counter, and it has an LC or LED display, and it's also got uh, diagnostic LED. Uh, to indicate that a signal is being uh, seen by the anemometer as it spins. Anyway, we'll show you the good stuff now and give you a demonstration. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is the instrument I made. Um, and this is the, the anemometer here. This anemometer is designed for a crane, uh, a crane safety system. But it was a uh, good price and um, uh, it had the right sort of specifications I need. Anyway, I will show you the uh, inside and everything a bit later. But here we've got uh, the on and off switch. I'll just turn that on and it'll come up. There we go. That's now zero. So basically, as you would expect, as this starts to spin, uh, we should start getting uh, a readout in kilometres an hour, as you can see. Um, I know this is not really the best way to demonstrate, but um, at least it will uh, give you some idea. So we have the anemometer spinning and we have a wind speed. And as you can see, the diagnostics LED there. Okay, so this is the back panel here. Uh, we've just tried to keep it simple. Uh, as you can see, you can see like a switch arrangement there. That's basically the input. Uh, where the anemometer goes into this instrument here. You now where the uh, the square wave uh, symbol is, that's actually an output. So as the anemometer is spinning, uh, there is also a pulsed output here and this is what um, can be interfaced to some other device, such what I was explaining before uh, with the weather station. Uh, so that can be used to accumulate uh, the wind speed data for example so um, anyway so this is it basically and as I said I will open the unit up I'll take some photos of it I made the uh, the front panel today um, just using a, a photograph of an anemometer there and just um, put some text into that to make it uh, how I wanted it I don't know if you can see that there, but where the diagnostics LED is there. Um, all that says there is anemometer underneath that square wave symbol there. Um, so all that indicates is the anemometer is, is actually working. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll open it up and show you the insides. Okay, so here's the instrument now, upside down. I've just taken the screws out already. And if we take the, the bottom off, everything's mounted in the top part of the case. It's probably not quite as neat as I, I could have made it, but um, anyway, just to give you an idea of what's going on here. So we've got the input and output terminals up here. Uh, these, these wires here are the, um, 
which come from the anemometer and uh, these go straight into this, this here this basically is a 12 to 5 volt regulator circuit and it's also got a pulsing circuit in there uh, which then drives that LED as you saw on the front earlier and also through the terminal block here it provides the 5 volt DC to the counter module there and also uh, the pulsing signal which is also a 5 volt DC signal uh, which is pulsed into the module here and this does all the, the fancy stuff this is basically a simple frequency counter uh, purchase off eBay uh, for a fairly cheap price I think it was about 14 or 15 dollars so not bad really um, considering what I've been able to do with that so anyway that's the mess inside and um, yes um, it sort of gives you an idea what's going on there anyway it looks like the camera is running out of space so um, I'll take some some more photos of, of this um, uh, wind speed monitor and I will also attach it to the video Thank you very much for your interest and hope hope you um, hope you found the project of some interest to you and uh, we'll catch you another time. Thanks for watching. This is VK3 TVZ.